Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we have a 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan and on this Tiguan we're going to go over how you replace the rear brakes and the rotor. This is just an example of how you do it. And these brakes are still good as well as this rotor. I'm just going to show you how it's done. So to start with you'll raise the vehicle, remove the tire, and we have the vehicle supported on jack stands and the tires are chopped. So we now have it up, tire removed. We have two number 13 bolts to be removed to remove the, ca the, the caliper itself from the carrier. And then there are triple squares that we gotta remove to be able to remove the carrier so that we can remove the rotor. And one thing that you'll have to do on this vehicle, because this is an electronic um, emergency brake, is we'll need to be able to back that off. Now, there are a couple ways to back it off. One is if you have a specific code reader, a VAGCOM, you can go into the service mode and be able to put that in service mode and back it off. Now, if you don't have that, we can manually do it, and that is by we disconnect the connector here and we provide 12 volt of some power here to be able to get this piston to back off. And so we're going to go that method. There is one other method where you can completely take the whole thing apart and twist it back manually and then put it back together and do it that way. But we're going to go the method where we provide some 12 volt power, DC power, to be able to back it off electronically but manually. All right. So to start with, we're going to remove these caliper bolts or the bolts that hold the carrier. All right, now with those bolts removed, now we should be able to remove this caliper. Pulling it back. And we're just gonna set that to the side for the moment. Not putting a lot of strain on the brake line itself. Okay, so then the brake pads would come off by just pulling them out. So for the rotor, we still have the bolt in there that we want to try to loosen up. And that's the T30 that holds the, uh, just holds the rotor on there. They can be a little bit of a pain. That one wasn't actually quite that bad. Now the, the rotor, I mean, we'll have to tap it with a hammer to get it to come off, but it is now, um, that set screw is out, and we'll remove this carrier to be able, uh, so we can get the rotor off. So to get the carrier off, we need to have, this is where you'll have to have your uh, a specialty tool for the Volkswagen Audis, and that is a triple square. Back to, we need to remove this carrier this one, for whatever reason, actually doesn't have triple squares. It's just the regular Allen. And that is a uh, size 10 Allen. So we've got the, uh, the carrier removed. I'm going to clean this all up with wire brush and with your new brakes a lot of times you'll get these new metal slides and uh, so you would uh, just replace them. If you don't then you'll still just reuse these. But clean them up. 
Okay, so those are cleaned up. Now we'll need to remove these glide plans and we're gonna clean off the old grease, put new grease on. And this is a uh, uh, brake caliper grease. There we go. So we got them slide really nice. And so, replacing the rotor. It generally gets pretty stuck on there, so we've got to use our hammer force. Perfect. So, we've got that off. We'll want to uh, clean it up wire brush or a uh, um, sanding wheel. Get as much rust off as you can. And then when you've got your new rotor, you'll just take it and reinstall it. Making note to line up that set screw. Lines tight, and now we can put the because uh, we have our carrier all prepped and ready to go back on. We'll put that on, and these are just our Allen's. So we have tightened the carrier on and tightened those bolts up good and tight and the rotor is attached. Now is our most our crucial part where we need to back off the electric motor here. So we need to undo this electric connector. So with that electric connector out, we have two um, pins in here that we need to hook some power up to and we got to have 12 volts of power so I'm Just going to use some uh, alligator clip connectors here Now that we've got those hooked up, what we're looking for, when I hook up the power to our 12 volt battery, is we want this, we're gonna hear this spin, and we're gonna want it to go backwards. If we see it coming out, then we're going the wrong way. We just switched our battery leads, and then we'll go the other way. And we're gonna back it all the way off and then you're gonna see this spin a little bit and that's when we know we've got it all the way back. And then we can depress this to be able to reinstall it when you're putting new brakes on. And so here we go, we're gonna see if we've got it the right way. There we go. So that uh, spun to the back and uh, this spun around. And you can take a basic brake compressor and be able to push the caliper back after you've electronically turned it back to make so that these brakes will fit in there. So you just take your brakes, put them the right way that they uh, go with the curvature
And then uh, I'm just putting a teeny bit of uh, caliper grease right there. We do our best not to get it on the, uh, the front there because then our brakes won't work as well on the friction material. And some would say you put a teeny bit here and it'll keep some of the rattle out of your brakes and they'll, um, they won't be loud. There we go. Now we can take our our caliper and be able to install this. You'll need to make sure you reconnect the electric connector until it snaps in. And then um, just make sure you snug these two bolts up. Your electric connector is um, done. Put your tire back on, lower the car, set the torque, and then once you start up the vehicle, pump the brakes a few times and this electronic motor will get where it's clamping where it needs to go. And so that's how you would replace your rear brakes on your 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.